All right, program number five. So this is just about the same as program number four, but the numbers could be going up or going down. So for example, we could go from seven to five. So really these are starting and ending values, not low and high. So let's try to not mess it up and I will save. This is program five now. And so I am going to change this low and high to be called start and end. So I'll do a query to replace for low, and we'll call that the start. Yes, 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 yes. And I'll do a query to replace and change the high to be the end. There. And that uh, changes that. So um, the only real difference here is um, we're going to have the starting value, the ending value, and we don't really mind if one's higher than the other, so we're going to remove that now. Uh, the only thing is things are going to change up here, so we're going to print the times tick over 6 going up or going down. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to check is start um, less than or equal to the end. If it is, then we'll do it this way. Where we're doing it now. So times table for that and we'll print going up. And then we'll just do what we we're doing before. And then we will put an else in and copy paste that, copy paste that, going down. And now the only thing is we have to change. So we're gonna go from the end to the start. And, but we're going down by minus ones. So we'll see, we start at the end, we go to the start. Hmm, I think we're gonna have to do something here, but we'll have to do some testing to check. And instead of going up by one, remember the third value is the increment value. So if we're going up by positive one, we could put a positive one, but it's redundant, it's an extra parameter, which is optional. I'll leave it there just for argument's sake. And then let's, uh, Go back to the shell, run Python 3, and this was program number 5. And if the times table to print, let's do 7, and we'll go from 1 to 5. Looks good, it goes from 1 times 7, 7, 2, up to 5, and it says it's going up, we notice that changed. Let's go uh, again, 7 times table, let's go from 5 down to 1. And what happens? Oh, it doesn't do anything, so what's going on wrong here? We're going from seven, five to one. What's going to, what's, what's happening? Let's try and figure this out. So this is good that actually something bad happened. So it, it did the printing going down, right? Very good, so we know what's in here. So it's gonna go from end to start minus one. What's wrong in here? Let's, uh, end is the end, and the start is the start, so do, 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 do. figure out what's going on here. Yeah, I'm being silly. So, it's still going to be the start in the end, because we're calling it from the start to the end, but it's just that it's going down. Um, so I had, if you noticed, I had end and start here backward, so it was defining a range that was actually empty. Silly me getting my uh, variables mixed up. So let's try that again. We're going to go 7 times table from 5 down to 1. And we'll notice, yes, it does. It goes 5, and then 4, and then 3. Oh, but it didn't make it to 1. Why is it not making it to 1? Because it's not inclusive. So it's not plus 1. It's going to have to be minus 1. We're going to go on past the end. Let's go 5 down to 1. Looks good to me. Let's try again with an 8 times table from 10 down to 6. And it looks like it's working, so that'll be it for that one.